Should we do this Mortal Kombat style today? Finish him. Yes. Call over here. Hey. Oh, Dr. Hans wins. Epic Boy. Shaken, Amarillo, Pele. Misplaced it. Ah. Are you up for another Shaken Brew? Today we're gonna do a Shaken, Amarillo, Pele, a little bit lower ABV. We're gonna use some steeping grain today to mix it up. And I'm also guessing this is one of those episodes. Don't try this at home. So let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, well, not the jar, my channel. My channel about beer and home brewing. Okay, shake and brew. We have done quite a lot of shake and brew now and starting to get a hold of the recipe. In every recipe so far, I have used honey or sugar to bump up the ABV. Today we will not do that, but as this is a low ABV beer and I want some color on it, I was thinking that I should cold steep or cold mash some grains and I did this yesterday and I have already put out a video about cold steeping this so this video doesn't drag on forever but this is gonna be extremely simplified as this is the whole idea with the shaking brew method that is gonna be simple so we're aiming for uh, under 4% beer I think and we'll do amarillo and we'll also dry hop let's get brewing and I will brew in a Cornelia style cake today because the other one that I usually use, the mini cake, is full of beer still. This is boiling hot sanitizer. Don't do this at home. I really like to use like, boiling water in my cakes to sanitize them, but I what you sanitize also. In this I have a floating pickup. Today maybe we don't need a funnel. It's the idea as we have a bigger mouth here on the opening. This video is sponsored by Angel Yeast. So I'll be using the, their CN36 ale yeast and uh, their yeast nutrients. This is quite interesting yeast as it ferments from 10 degrees Celsius up to 25 degrees Celsius. What should we try to brew with this one? We could try to do like a mock pilsner or maybe kirsch. Would be cool. Is this good content? 500 milliliters. The idea with all of this is just gonna be super simple. So I'm not gonna boil this, but I do want this to be pasteurized because grains have naturally bacteria on them. This is wheat spray malt, 500 grams of 1.1 one pound. Let's see if we can do this. This is super sticky and there's some... Uh... Ah, got the most in. I'm guessing this could be a good spring early summer beer. And this is Another 500 grams of spray malt, but this time it's extra light. So, one kilo of DME in total. And this is 100 grams of crystal like caramel 20 and uh, eight grams of roasted barley just for color. I did take a gravity reading of, uh, of this and it is like 1026-ish, which is quite low, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in the cold steeping video. So I'm thinking, first, let's pour this off. Something like that. Okay, should we see if we can get some more out of out of this don't try this at home this is not the way to brew beer the big issue here today is that I crushed this so fine that uh, gonna run into some problems this is not how to brew beer what's gonna be interesting to see if we get beer out of this just a hop socket here see if we can Drain this instead. Maybe we should have done the same with that one. It's not too late. 
Oh my god, that's murky as... No, I won't use that. Bad idea, let's move on. And this is of course why you should not subscribe to my channel, because I do these stupid things here so, so you don't have to, but you should not encourage me by becoming a subscriber. You will only regret it. Top that up to, to 500 milliliters. That's five deciliters. The doctor, maybe you could like convert everything. Yes, thank you, into birds and stones. And I will put another 500 milliliters in there. That's one liter so far. We'll be adding a total of eight liters into this nine liter cake. So we have some sort of headspace. We're not up to pasteurizing temperature just yet, but that wasn't the plan. I have really thought this out, so we'll have to see. Let's add some of these nutrients. You don't have to add these nutrients, but I can't see why you wouldn't want to do that. Be good to your yeast and your yeast will hopefully brew you good beer. But if you don't, don't blame your yeast. It's always your fault. So this is about 50 degrees Celsius and I will boil up another one and a half liter. Let's do one liter. I'm just winging it as you hear. That's another liter. We're up to two liters. Amarillo. 50 grams and then I will save the other 50 grams for dry hopping. This is about 9.7% alpha acid, so it's quite high. If you don't have yeast nutrient, you could use like an old yeast, even baker's yeast, and add that to the, uh, to the boil. One liter of boiling water going in. I'm just gonna give that a shake, try to dissolve the, the wort. This is a little bit scary. Yes, dissolve the uh, DME. The idea is that I want temperature to drop a little bit, so I don't want to extract too much bitterness from the Amarillo. So that's why I didn't want to like heat this up fully, like boiling temperature, not even past... Oh, I spilled some. So this will hopefully take the temperature down. How much? I'm not sure. Oh. Let's see if we can leave the drags behind. Yes. We don't want that. No. It's not hot enough, like 60. I want this at least up to 70, 72. Darn it. Let's boil some more water, another liter. This could mean that we will end up too high in temperature in the end. This is not a good idea. Don't try this at home. Will it be beer? Probably. Will it be good? <laughs> ah, we will have to wait and see. This means that we could get quite hot here in the end. Maybe we can't pitch the yeast straight away, which I would prefer, but one thing at a time. Doing these videos takes a lot of my time, so I do appreciate you who helps out by supporting on Patreon, channel membership, or just buy me a beer. All links down below have PayPal links and everything. Thank you very much. Water is done! That, that was not a good idea. Another liter going in. Quick shake to see what temperature we're at. Oh, remind me again why I'm doing this. So you don't have to. Temperature 70 degrees, 69.8 to be exact. That should be fine. 500 grams of Amarillo going in. Epic pour. Give it a shake. I'm gonna let this sit for about maybe five minutes. Hur får man på en timer men här? See, they set a timer for five minutes. Let's give this a, a shake. Should we do the dance? But I don't have any gloves on me. Shake it like the doctor, shake it like the doctor, smack it in the table. And maybe also, thumbnail opportunity.
actually changed my mind because I do want some bitterness in here and as we're running at 17 degrees Celsius it's not gonna be a lot of bitterness from those hops. It will most likely be good beer but I changed my mind and it has now been sitting for wait for it 20 minutes instead of those five. We will see what happens in the end. Hopefully it will be beer and that should be pasteurized by now. Okay, timer off. It smells hoppy. And yes, I'm just gonna leave the hops in and uh, everything here. So we're gonna brew and ferment and serve in one vessel. And of course, you should not buy water like I do. Use tap water. Maybe you can boil it or something. You probably wouldn't. There's a lot of people brewing extract beers and don't boil their water. I know I'm gonna get some hate for that, but that's all right. This yeast should work in 10 to 25 Celsius. Recommended 15 to 22. So I'm gonna start this at 22. We'll ferment this under pressure and not a lot of headspace at all today. I'm a little bit worried. We have some headspace. This is the first time I, I'm, I'm brewing in this cake. We will see what happens. Hopefully it will be okay or I will have a mess in here. Ooh, it's heavy now. I will need to shake it to mix all of the ingredients that took the temperature down a lot but this could still be hot because I had to add so much water. It's quite hot. This is not good. This is 38. Okay. So uh, I won't add the yeast now, I will instead let this cool down. Should we take a gravity reading? 10.45, can you write that down? 10.45, not that bad. This will go outside now to cool down. It is not super cold outside. 17 degrees Celsius. This has been sitting outside for like one and a half hour. It feels a lot cooler now, so I'm just gonna pitch the yeast and move on. One thing that I like with the uh, Angel yeast packages is that you can just tear them. You don't need a scissor. Tear this open. And pitch it. Nothing fancy. They do recommend that you hydrate the yeast. Rehydrate the yeast, sorry. But this is all about simple brewing. I'm gonna start this as 20 psi to hold down the crowds and as I don't have so much headspace, but I don't want to pressurize this too much because we need to open this for the dry hopping so we can pressurize it even more further during the fermentation. I will control the heat with this heating mat. This is for like plants, but you can also use the heating mats. They are sold for like terrariums. They work as good in my opinion. And for the temperature probe to insulate that small piece of foam. I'm gonna start this at 22 and we will see what the probe is reading right now. 22.1! So we are at the desired starting temperature. That was just luck. Don't think that I'm a professional brewer. Shake and brew. I have no insulation pad for this one so just gonna see how this works out, but I think we will be cool, maybe not as efficient as we could be. Place them there. Hopefully we won't have an accident. I guess I will see you at dry hopping if nothing fails. Dry hopping time. Yes, I know you want to see the apron. Is that better? Nice. Unhook this. And I lowered the pressure this morning, so I don't get a massive reaction. This had 
quite a fermentation. I'm going to talk about that further down in the video. So I had to crank the uh, pressure up because of the small headspace. I almost talked about it. Hopefully we will have no explosions. I have a disastrous video which I can link down below in the description how to and how to not dry up under pressure. We should be fine now. And this is like self scrubbing, but as I have CO2 easy on hand. Spanding valve back on. Don't put your spanning valve on the wrong side. Don't do it. I've done that. And this is sitting quite hot. And I haven't got any insulation, but we could mark every something. 24.2 Celsius. Let's bump this up to 25. I am a little bit late to the uh, to the table for dry hopping. I, I did want to dry hop yesterday, but I was too lazy. And I do want to dry hop before the end of fermentation. There was still some activity going on here, so we should be fine. And now I want to bump up the temperature. I won't get into that fully. Check out my Diacetyl 4 dumbness where I talk about why I dry hop this way. Hop creep and everything. Nice. Two weeks almost later. So we had some issues through the fermentation. That can leave some off flavors. Let's see what we got. Fermentation was really quick, but I left it of course for the dry hopping part. Doctor, can you put on some epic music? And uh, if you, should we do this Mortal Kombat style today? Finish him. Yes. Come over here. Okay. Oh, Dr. Hans wins. Epic boy. Shaken Amarillo Pale Ale. Looking good. Okay. There we have her. It is darker than I was planning, but it's maybe not as dark as you see it. We have a dark orange colored beer. Maybe you could skip like the the, the, the dark rose malt I used in this one. Let's just give it a nose. It smells really nice. Get some like, you know, mash, wort, grains, but it's just subtle. And I'm thinking, I'm guessing that is the uh, the cold steeping part of it. Almost like a fruit candy. That's really nice. And love the head. We have a two finger thick white head with peak and valleys. That head is going nowhere. Cheers. It's really nice. Slight hint of orange maybe. Really easy drinking. Have a nice level of bitterness. That was something that I was a little bit worried about. As we only just came up to 70 degrees for the steeping of the hops, but it worked. You get some bitterness to like salivate the, the mouth. I get like a soft fruit mango, like canned fruity taste to it. Also like fruit candy. As a light body, super nice beer, really like a more complex pale ale because I get some like graininess, I get some bread note. Really nice. You can't taste anything from the roasted bar, of course, but it was only, what was it, like eight grams. If everything is correct, this fermented out to 10 <laughs> If everything is correct, this fermented out to 10 and that would give us a beer about 4.6%. The recipe for this one is ordered up in the Big Dr. Hans recipe book for my patents to the Gin 2, but uh, how can anyone write a recipe with that cold steeping and the uh, mess I did? So the recipe is up there, but I think the best thing is to check this video if you want to try to replicate this. But you don't need to replicate what I do. Learn from my mistake. Try to brew something like this. I've learned a lot. This was the first one I did without any sugars and it's really nice. I'm gonna try some steeping mash for the shaking brew. What beer do you want to see in the shaking brew? I have some cool ideas but I'm all ears if you have any ideas. 
As I said, don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes instead. <sighs> Cheers. See you in the next one. Hello.